So I shared with you the theory of how to resolve conflict step by step. But what do my own conflicts look like, you know, in the more kind of messiness of real life? <coughs> I want to show you and actually play out uh, some of the conflicts that, I, that I've had. So you can really see step by step how they went and how I resolved them. If you also want to see, you know, the more like the step by step theory of how to do this, how to do it yourself, you can check out my other videos. I put a link up here or above in the description box below, above, somewhere in the description box. Today I want to uh, talk about a conflict that I have with my partner. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you back after. So in this, you know, I call it conflict, but maybe it sounds a bit heavy. It was more like a disagreement, let's say. So I was thinking out loud about um, the energy contract and that we have a new one and we still need to calculate something of the money that my landlord would get or that we would get or he or me. And I was wondering if we could talk about it. And then my partner said, Hey, right now I don't have so much space. Can we talk about it later? Yeah, okay. It's just that I want to remember because I think I owe you some, no, you owe me some money. And then I also need to remember, I need to tell the landlord that he owes, I think he owes us. Like, I don't know, there's just a lot of, a lot of calculations I need to make, so. Hey, it's on your mind a lot, right, this thing? Oh, I really don't like that because, I, you know, I'm doing something for the both of us. So... I, I kind of want to be seen that that I'm taking on this task and I'm it's like also in your benefit. Mm, well, I want to be seen that it's not for the both of us because this energy thing that was a financial benefit for you was not was not really for the both of us. <sighs> okay, I think we're both not listening anymore. Shall we maybe sit down for a second? So this is the first step of connecting. The moment we kind of realize that none of us is listening anymore. And we, if we were standing, we just kind of sit down or we kind of make sure that there's some time to really discuss this and to have more of an intention of going to our needs. The first thing I, I do then is kind of make a decision of whether we're first going to listen to the other person or first going to listen to me. And in this case, I decided I had some space to listen to him. So that's what I did. So is it that you want to be seen that this change in electricity bill thing was only in my financial interest? And so that it was yeah, only for my benefit. And also maybe that um, your remark that you had kind of good intentions with it. You didn't mean anything bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I listened to him for a while and it turned out that his biggest need was first of all to be seen that he didn't have any bad intentions with the remark. It was just more of an observation. And also that um, he wanted to be seen that he was actually very willing to help me with the stuff so that it wasn't all on my shoulders. And also what turned out is that very interesting for me that I'd asked him earlier to, whenever I made a request to be very honest. So when I made the request to talk uh, about this, he was being honest and saying, I don't have space. And then after that, we had a discussion and his system kind of experienced this thing of, hmm, when I share this honesty that she actually asked for. And after that, then after that, all of a sudden there is a conflict or a discussion. And so his, uh, his second need was to, to trust that, you know, when he would give his honesty, that it would land in a safe place so that I was still open to hear his honesty about it. Yeah, so what I hear is that you want to be seen for your for your, your good intentions and also that you want to check if I still want yeah, this full honesty. And so yeah, I I did see your intention with the rem with the remark. I did see that it, that you didn't mean anything bad. It was just touching me in a in a yeah, in a vulnerable spot. And also, yeah, I do really want want your honesty when you don't have space to talk about something. So, yeah. So after me reformulating him and confirming some things that he wanted to have confirmed, he had space to listen to me. And now I'm, curi and now I'm curious to hear you. Yeah, I guess I also want to be seen in a few things. Um, one is that it wasn't just about electricity bill, even though I think I only mentioned that. It was actually also about the internet change that was all kind of for me in one one heap of things and that is actually in your interest because it's becoming cheaper now because of the changes I made and 
as a result of that there are some things that need to change in the contract and that need to change in the way in the amount we pay in the amount I pay you and everything so yeah there there is some task that I took and that um, that benefits the both of us and I guess I want to be seen in that I do that and that in this moment I have some overwhelm about it and that also to remember that I that I'm okay with with not talking about it in this moment like um, the moment that you feel too full for for the calculations uh, and I guess I want to be heard in that oh wow it felt like another thing that I had to remember like now I also have to remember to get back to you about it and yeah I realize now also the reason that I cried I think is that there's also a thought in me that I have to I have to remember all of this uh, these things which I know is not true that's just a thing that I think that I have to take responsibility now for all these calculations and to remember to to ask you again about it um, and yeah, I think it's, it fits in this kind of bigger theme that I'm working on of letting go of thinking that I'm responsible for everything and that, um, that if I don't fix the thing that the world is going to collapse, something like that. So I think it touched me in this vulnerable spot of, ooh, I'm actually taking on too much responsibility and um, yeah, it's actually painful for myself to, to notice that. So I wonder... Yeah, I think right now I mostly long for some compassion about it, um, or yeah, to be to be seen in how it is for me. Um, so, do you do you have a sense? Do you feel compassion for it? Hearing all of this? Yeah, I feel compassion for that. So sometimes resolving a conflict requires a step after connecting. It requires actually doing something different in real life. So, kind of an agreement of okay, from now on, let's let's tackle this thing this way or from now on let's do this so our, both our needs will will be met in the future but quite often especially when the need is to be heard of someone or to be seen quite often the actual connection about it and the to be heard in that moment about it already meets the need so there's no need for an extra uh, agreement or step or anything so this was the case for us my partner wanted to be to be seen in that in his good intentions and I confirmed that I that I saw him in that and I wanted to receive some some compassion and to be seen in my overwhelm and my process of letting go of responsibilities and he also showed me that he had compassion for that so for us that was really enough and yeah actually right after that all the weight I could feel that all the weight was gone and all the tension between us and we just went on a nice walk and had a nice day. <laughs> so let me know in the comments, what did you learn from this? I'm curious which element was helpful for you. Please write it in the comments and I will always respond to you. Also, maybe you can share this video with someone that you think might be interested as well in this topic. And if you didn't subscribe yet, it's helpful to do so because if you also hit the notification bell, you'll get an get a update whenever I have a new video. So if you're on Facebook, you can also go to YouTube and make sure you subscribe. Okay, see you next time. Ciao, ciao. Hey, right now I don't have so much space. Can we talk about it later? <laughs> oh